Hey one, it's all Steve here with First Updates Now here at the Fit DCMP, checking out Team 9128, It Can Robotics. And let me tell you something, this robot, It Can. This team is one of the highest rookie seeds first for first in Texas. And today we're gonna we have Abad and Hamza to walk around with our robot, walk around with their robot and show us everything they can do right here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University is looking for talented robotic students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash first updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. All right, Abad, how about you walk me through your entire joint mechanism that you have over here and tell us how it works out. So the main thing about our joint mechanism is the chain and sprocket. Every single one of the motors are powered, making the robot very bottom heavy. A 25 to 1 motor leading all the way up and making a two pivot arm. Uh, through our past iterations, we had a three pivot arm, but we saw that it took a lot of time to get to position and that reduced our cycle time a lot. So we switched that out, made our intake much longer, and that allows us to get rid of an entire pivot and be much faster in our cycling time. And as you can see here, the pivots all rely on these two chain and sprockets everything at the very top here, and that's all powered in the motor, which makes our robot incredibly bottom heavy. And to further the bottom heaviness of our robot, we have a 25 pound steel belly pan there. You guys mentioned about how you have you had multiple iterations, and I can see on your really nice banner in the background, you guys had multiple iterations. What made you guys go with this current iteration that you have for states? So our first iteration was a simple claw that rotated 180 degrees that allows us to get cones, flip it, and score from the back. But we saw that it wasn't really practical in our first iteration. And from that, we switched to a wild stang type uh, polyurethane uh, roll, uh, belt system, which we also saw worked really well for single substation and cubes, but we saw that it was really heavy and caused our robot to tip a lot. And after that, we went with a simple design with just these two rollers, as you can see here, which a lot was much faster, didn't cause our robot to tip at all, but we kept on seeing that uh, a bunch of cubes escaped from us. And that led to our current iteration, as you can see here, the much bigger well, at the top, that allows cubes much fa uh, to go much faster, along with Omni wheels, so that the insect could glide on the ground and we could rotate while the insect worked. Is it possible we can have some demonstration with the cone and cube on your intake? So that's how it works in the human sub player station. And if it's any ground cone, it easily gets like that. And for any cube, I'll take. And for any cube. It easily grabs any of the cubes and elements with incredible ease as through our past iterations helped us finalize this design a lot. I'll take. And one of the really, really cool parts about our intake is it has an automatic uh, flip. So as you can see here, level three, our intake automatically stabilizes at the very top. So you can see that our, it allows our drivers to have a much easier time to score with, this is done through stow position. This is done through this. Uh, I'll take. This is done through our flip or move, as we call it, which simply rotates pivots in this small uh, angle with a really easy pivot joint here, and and our rope tensioning to the very back of our robot, the rope tensioning, and that pulls it taut, so we have the perfect flip. And another really cool part about our intake is the idler pulley system. As you can see here, it reverses the the direction of both of the the rollers so as you see here and that allows us to easily get the into uh, any part any cube uh, cone in any position really all right i'm gonna hand it back to you hamza H talk to us about your presets and how exactly you're able to make it so really clean steady and continue from there of course, so a lot of our programming lies on the um, simplicity of our robot. So as you can see, it's a very simple two joint, double jointed design. So um, we have a few safeties laid in to make it as easy to drive as possible. So currently, um, all of our functions of the arm are, com are completely presetted. So our operator only has a few buttons. Um, as you saw, there's one intake position for both um, cones and cubes now with our new intake. Um, and along with that, um, the innovative pivot system we have on our intake makes it so that um, 
scoring on any level is um, really easy without um, need for too many controls. So we use um, PID throughout all of our code on all of our motors, um, using the encoder positions to track where our arm is. Um, and then with the press of a button, we can change um, the target that it um, goes to. Um, along with that, we have some built-in collision detections, detecting um, where different parts of the robot will be going to make sure we're not slamming into the floor or um, other parts of the pivots and things like that. Um, along with that, we have a few presets for um, our base driver. Um, we have a preset for each of the cardinal directions. So if he wants to face himself um, north, south, east, west, um, anywhere like that, um, um, he can with the push of a button, and um, it also works while he's driving. Along with that, he has a button that he can hold to auto balance if um, he chooses to use that too. Um, this helps a lot with different um, processes, auto balancing obviously in the end game, um, along with the um, scoring on the substation is a lot easier since he can, since he can face um, 90 degrees um, with the push of a button, um, and then turn back um, to our um, scoring position. All right, one final question. You guys are a rookie team, doing really well so far. As a rookie team, what have you guys learned? Because it seems like already starting with the sword drive, your your rookie year, you did it at your offseason competition at NTX at your banner. So tell us, as a rookie team, what have you learned so far? The main thing that we learned so far is continuously iterating upon every design. Not your your first design will never be perfect, and continuously iterating upon it will let you come with a design that gives you as much flexibility as possible for your programmers, your builders, and overall your drive team. You have to design around your team's, uh, your drive team's needs, and that allows a much faster robot that overall competes much better in any competition, really. Well, 9128 Can Robotics, really amazing robot, especially for your rookie year. Rookie All-Star, rookie inspiration, all the rookie rewards you've received so far at this competition. Really excited to see you guys do what you will do at this competition. So good luck, and thank you for walking around your robot for us. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University is looking for talented robotic students who want to continue learning and innovating in a hands-on real-world experience format. Kettering University representatives will be at dozens of FIRST events this season, including the championship. Go to kettering.edu slash FIRST to see which events you can meet a Kettering University representative. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash first updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.